this video, we're going to show you how spreadsheets can shed light on two important mathematical concepts, the famous butterfly effect and the Fibonacci series and the golden ratio, which you've probably seen if you've looked at the amazing Greek building, the Parthenon, and other famous buildings. So you may have heard of the butterfly effect. What does it mean? Well, the idea is if a butterfly would flap its wings in Tahiti, that might affect the weather in Indiana, India, Europe, South America, or Asia. And this doesn't make much sense that a small change in a butterfly flopping its wings somewhere in the ocean near Tahiti could affect weather throughout the world. Well, it does make sense if you believe weather is governed by a simple nonlinear function. Let's take the following function. Let's suppose the weather time t plus 1 equals some constant a, which will assume to be 4, times the weather time t times 1 minus the weather time t. A very simple equation. And let's just start the weather at point 3 for now. And then what would the weather be at time 2? It would be 4 times the weather at time 1 times 1 minus the weather at time 1. Okay, now we can copy that down, double click the left mouse. Okay, and I went down, let's say, 50 time periods. Now, let's just simply change the weather at time 1 by a tiny bit. Let's say 0 0.001 for now. So we would simply make this be, instead of 0 0.3, it would be 0 0.3 plus whatever this number is. And then the formula that's right here could be copied across. It would be 4 times whatever the weather was at time 1 times 1 minus the weather at time 1. Okay, now let's double click and copy that down. And you can see these are already very different. The weather at time 11 here is 0.04, here it's 0.62. Now we could graph this with a line graph. Select the range, control shift, what I did here, control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow. And I can do insert a line chart. Right there. Okay. We'll move this up a bit. Okay, you can see these two time series, as they're called, are very different. Okay, the orange is when we added 0.001 to the 0.3, and the blue is what we originally had. Now, let's suppose we make the butterfly flap its wings just a tiny bit less. So that's 0.001. Look, the pictures still diverge. So a small change in initial conditions, as they say, could result in a huge change in basically the output or the weather later on. That's pretty amazing, and that's what's called the butterfly effect. It's a subset of what's known as chaos theory, which is really quite amazing if you study it. A lot of people think chaos theory governs the stock markets. That is, there's a determinist, deterministic equation that will let you know what's going to happen to the future of stocks if you knew where they are now. If you ever saw the movie Pi, they sort of believe in that. Okay. Now let's talk about the famous Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so you can start with zero, and then you might start with one, and then you get the next numbers in the series by adding the two previous numbers. Okay, so we would take the second Fibonacci number here would be just the sum of these two. We want to look at it that way. And then we would just add these, we could just copy that down. Okay, and then we get Fibonacci numbers, 5, 8, 13, 21, 13 plus 21 is 34, and that's really cool. Now, what is the ratio of successive Fibonacci numbers? Well, let's start right here. That would be the third Fibonacci divided by the second, and you'll see it converges to something called the golden ratio. Don't want to go through the math here. But see, very quickly, the ratio of successive Fibonacci numbers is about 1.62. Okay, now that's called the golden ratio in architecture, whatever. And it's basically 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2. So right here we have 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2. Now this is used a lot in architecture. Let's look at a picture of the famous Greek Parthenon, the beautiful building in Athens. Okay, and if you measure here the width across here, you get 4.2 inches in this scale photograph. And if you measure the height going down, you get 2.6 inches. 
and the ratio of 4.2 to 2.6 is about 1.615, which is almost exactly the golden ratio. It's supposed to be aesthetically pleasing, and it's sort of amazing that the Fibonacci sequence, successive terms after a very short while, approach the golden ratio. So we can see how basic spreadsheet modeling can illuminate two important concepts in mathematics. And hopefully this video has been interesting and also build your facility with basic spreadsheet models. Okay, so thanks for watching. And, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston. Um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews. Uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here and you can sort of see 4.5 or his newest book his analytic stories book which is here and with that one you can see it's four point something or maybe even five i don't think it's five yeah 4.8 and so yeah anyways in the description there's a free 21 day course from dr winston um or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free and it'll be there but again thanks for watching and if you have any questions just uh please let us know thanks